welcome to this new year 2021 hopefully it's gonna be the year of our lifetime and in today's video i want to start a new series yes that is right we're gonna do some series over here we're gonna do some makeup series and i want to go and recreate looks from the century of from the 20th century yes today if you could have guessed from my hair i guess i don't know <laughs> but this this video we are going to recreate a makeup look from the 1910s we're gonna give it a go we're gonna try to get somewhere we'll see where it's gonna take us so first of all let me give you a little spiel a little thingy thingy about 1910s by the way just so you know i this is a recreation this is more not necessarily a recreation more like inspired look i cannot come up with exactly facts of how they used to wear and what they used to wear but i was able to find a few things about the makeup from 1910 and this is what i was able to find back then people women were um more drawn to looking pale which um yeah not my case but apparently if you had a little bit more of a tanner skin people will think you're from a lower class because you would have to go out and work and that's how you get your tan but if you were very light skin you were higher class because you stayed inside the house and you had everybody else doing the work for you interesting idea but <laughs> thing is what they used to wear back then there were not a lot of women that were uh, wearing makeup just like actresses and ladies of the night but um they really were not wearing a lot of makeup um big companies were just starting right then in nine i think in 1909 uh, max factor was a huge company that started producing makeup so this was new okay was a new era for them and makeup um so from what i could see uh, see the apparently rouge was big back then rouge was basically lipstick but it could apply it on your lips and also on your cheeks and also what was another thing um they had mascara but they also had like a little bit of a crayon like black liner or something like that they love to go with that um also they love powders apparently powder was a big thing it was called papier powder but uh for the eyes apparently they all most of grays browns and lemon color paste applied a very slightly on the lids now for foundation moisturize powder rouge and then powder again so what we're gonna do i'm gonna add a little bit of foundation um something foundation that has more of a sheer coverage and then we're gonna go with a uh, powder then we're gonna go with some uh, cream um we're gonna go with some cream blush and that's a powder i mean let's go into it okay so let's let's just go into it I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, this video Lumi layer primer because I want that a little bit of that glowiness as well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. And recently I started to apply a primer with a brush and I actually like it much better than using my hand. I do hate using my hands on applying stuff. I'd rather do it with a brush or something else. And this type of brush that is from Echo Tools, love for that. I'm gonna go in with this foundation that I reviewed recently. I'm gonna leave the link for it up in the corner. This is the Bare Minerals Original Liquid uh, Mineral Foundation. And I'm only gonna add very little. I think this is that's gonna be pretty much enough. Let's see. We're not 
We're not gonna go full coverage, medium coverage. We're gonna go very sheer coverage, okay? You know, this is a new new thing on my <laughs> on my channel because I don't usually full coverage or medium the least. And guess what? Today we're not gonna use concealer. Wow, that's gonna be interesting. Let me add just a little bit more because I feel so naked. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit on my eyes since I'm not gonna use concealer at all. I'm excited about this. I wanna see how how I can do it, how I how close I can recreate this looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my hand and hopefully get a better coverage. I'm curious to see. So every month we're gonna do one era. January I decided to go 1910, February is gonna be 1920s, and things like that. And we're all gonna go all the way to 2020. <laughs> Right, so this is how it looks it's so weird to see my face like this but we can do powder so I'm gonna do a, a lot of powder I'm actually gonna go in with this makeup forever foundation powder foundation I'm gonna go and just kind of stomp this around And this is gonna give me a little bit more coverage. So yeah, like I was saying, back in that era, it was uh, it was better if you were very light skin. And this is purely that's just that for me. <laughs> We're not gonna do any bronzer, which again is kind of hard for me. Um, the brows, they don't have much going on for them, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna go in and just fill them very slightly. It's just, uh, I have this uh, from. Is it from Benefit? Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I'm just kind of very slightly. I'm not gonna give them any any shape or anything like that. Just kind of fill them in. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go in with this Blink uh, Clear Eyebrow Mousse on top. They weren't doing much to their brows, they were keeping them very natural, but because my brows are so sparse, I wanted to make sure I just do a little bit of something, something. Now I'm also gonna go in for my blush. I'm gonna go in with this. This is a blush that I currently have right now in Shop My Stash. I don't use this that much, but I definitely want to try it. And apparently blush was big back then, I mean rouge was big back then, and you apply a lot, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to apply a lot, and it was like high on the cheeks, like, like that. And then I'm going to put just a little bit on the nose. <laughs> Okay, this is looking super weird. I look like a clown. <laughs> Let me get my sponge and just kind of press that in. And because everything looks very light, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Thermo Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. 
and apply just a little bit more powder on top of that. All right, there we go. I think we're very, very close to what they used to wear back then. Now for eyes, so I'm gonna take the ultimate tan over here. This one right here. And I say very slightly on the lid, so I'm just gonna go all over, but not, not much. Just a wash. And then I'm gonna do just a little bit of eyeliner because they had their shape, their eye shape was a little bit down, or it was going a little bit down, which mine is, but not enough. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Essence one that is in my project pan, and I'm just gonna draw just a little bit, not much, on the top. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to go with Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir. Now for lips. For lips, hmm, it's tame to create a bitten lip effect as opposed to paint it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one right here that also I have in Project Pen. It's a lip balm, color lip balm. And it's kind of going like that. It's going to create more of a blob of lip. the look what do you guys think I am very like, like a ghost but this is this would have been perfect back in the day mm -hmm. do you guys like it I think this is kind of fun to see. 1910s definitely not my style. Um, all this powder without a lot, without good foundation, and the way the blush goes and stuff like that. It's not necessarily my look, but it's a look, and I'm I'm excited. I was able to try it. So let me know if you like this type of series. I'm definitely going to go and do another one next month about 1920s. The first, the f 1910s is not, as, is not as fun, but 1920s is going to be definitely better. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all next time with another video. Bye.